This is for the uh, five ton combat wheels. Uh, quarter inch O-ring, three quarter inch studs on the wheel. Um, gonna know how to pop that lip off. These right here are pretty easy. The uh, one with the five eight studs are pretty much the real pain that I've came to uh, realize. So what I do, you know, it's not the proof method, but leave all of them on, you know, about flush. You know, it's three or four turns a piece. And uh, I'm gonna pop some air in it. The uh, shredder valve is out of it. So it'll pick up pretty quick, but it'll just pop it enough so you can get a good pry bar underneath it and pop the rim off, or the lip off. So let's see how quick we can get this done. Beads are already broke. Three quarters always come apart very, very easily. So you maybe got hit with the impact real quick. Do try to keep your lug studs and the uh, feedlock studs as far away from where you're working as possible, even away from where you put the tire on. crowbar. I have to go around the edge a little real quick a little bit. Just give it a little wiggle room. And then one separate with the hammer on the outer lip. Get a lip on it like that. Take your other bead breaker tool. Try to put it in there just so it'll hold it a little bit. Alright. Just for that be a little bit of breathing room. Off. Take your little pick. The five eighths, I mean that quarter inch, are right here on top. The bigger ones on the five eighths wheels are a little further down, and sometimes you can't really see them. So just reach your little pick down in there, and you'll grab it. Quarter inch. Best blow gun you can have.
So, here's the old ones. Okay. Here we go. We got a new one. Screwdriver. Yeah, we're not using a screwdriver to pry on it, I promise. Your little hydraulic jack, the little flat handle. Just try to get around all these studs first. The uh, three eighths version for the five eighth studs go on a lot easier. All right, so you got the. Uh, the one side down in the hole. Put the jack handle in there. I'll take a crescent wrench. Whatever I got laying around, kind of flat. Run your upside down and pull it down in the seam. The, uh, the lip is not very far down. It doesn't have a lot of depth to it, so it doesn't. You get it in there, it'll stay, but it'll try to kick out until you get it all in there. You got another jack handle, it'll come in handy, but the other ones that come with the jack don't really work because it's too big. So just kind of you know, play it around a little bit. 